Okay, another tool review. Let's start probably three or four years ago. I have a little Grizzly Mini Mill. It takes a MT3 taper. And I bought this little boring bar set. I think it was being good at the time. And very happy with it. Used it many times. Abused it many times. All the carbide tip born tools. Good shape. You know, I chop them. I have a little diamond file saw blade sharpener that I converted to sharpen carbide tips. And been very happy with it. So when I bought my new machine, it took an R8 taper. So, and um, learned over the years that most of these tools are made from the same places. I think some are better quality than others when they, you know, get their specs a little tighter. You know, they charge a little more. So I went searching. Um, I compared the Banggood, Amazon, eBay, and this time Amazon had a this set from um, All Industrial Supply. It's this, you know, a seller on Amazon. And I think they're on eBay too, but the Amazon was the best price, free shipping, and Amazon return policy, which I enjoy. So I bought this, and uh, it's a pretty good kit. I haven't really abused it yet. I just set it up once and played with it to make sure it felt fine. And what I did is it all came in this plastic box, which I hate plastic boxes. So I made a rack for my tool holders and... I just got some chunks of wood and basically copied this one and drilled some holes and these all go in my toolbox in one area so the good news is oh, I think they're half inch you know shank size so they all interchange so I can still use the bits from this set and uh, this will fit into my tailstock taper on my new machine so that could come in handy. I just had to buy a tang for the um, tail stock for the draw bar tang. After I will make one, I can probably just make one, but I have to remember to do that before I use it so it doesn't spin. But I can always use this in the tail stock on the lathe portion. You know, use it as a boring bar on the on the lathe. So and that's why I'm happy I got this kit. So I figured to bring you in. It's a part number BHS-2. It's on Amazon. It's a 50 millimeter, two inch head, R8 tip of barn head. Uh, I forgot what size the base was. It's not. I know it's different. This is the one and a half, inch and a half by eight thread on this bar. So I was hoping these would be interchangeable. But they're not, this is smaller, so I, if I'm not mistaken, it could be one inch. I should have made myself a note and marked it before I put it together. But hey, I'm never going to take it apart, so why bother? So that's a tool review. Um, I have a hole I'm going to bore now, so I'm going to set this up and I'll bring you back for that. Already all set up at the mill. And lodge this hole just a little bit so I have this somewhat set up we'll see how close I am here Taking a little skim cut so I can get a measurement.
Okay, we're at 475. I like to hit half inch exactly, so 25 thousandths. Let's see how shot here. Let's see how good this head is for the adjustment. That's why I'm really trying this. See how good the dial is. My other one, not to admit that I can never trust the dial at all. <laughs> so, and the problem is you have to which way to which way to turn and. down ten thousandths and see what she takes out. I'm not sure if this is ten thousandths on the dial or twenty thousandths cut. See that's why I'm trying this. Ten thousandths will be safe for you wigs. I had to take twenty five out so I do have a Another part if I go over or screw up, this is not important. I'm in slow range. Take off here. Yeah, that's ten thousandths, which equals twenty thousandths on the hat. No, it could be ten thousandths. Let me see here. I hate reading it upside down and yeah, that was twenty thousandths, so So the dial is pretty on, and just after that, it's double. You know, because you're cutting a radius, it's going to be double, so I need another five. So let me see if I can dial in two and a half, which I'd be surprised if I can hit that. Go for two and see what it does. And there's a set screw hole in there, and I did remember to back off the set screw. I've learned that mistake before. Lock this down, set it right on the hole. So, yeah, so 
basically about a five tenths off, which is good enough for me because you can always polish it a bit. So good news is the adjustment dials. Oops, see I thought I had you zoomed in. So there's a fast shot. So the adjustment dial on this born hood is uh, precise. A really fine adjustment. You can dial in a couple thousands. So I'm very happy with this. Um, under a hundred dollars weight, you know, I think it was 70 bucks with the all the bits and everything so how can you go wrong the ra taper very cheaper than most other tapers the mt3 taper when i bought that was a lot more money so the ra tape is a lot more common so i can't complain about so far the quality i know it's only one time aluminum taking off twenty five thousandths, but that's what this test was for to see how good it was so i'm happy i hope this helps you have a good day